In this video, I'm going to show you some things that you can do with viewports. I'm currently in a file that has a title block set up and it has a bicycle that's located in model space. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow up certain areas of this bicycle and to do so, I'm going to need to create viewports. Uh, the first viewport I'm going to make is going to blow up this area right here and I'm going to use an ellipse for that purpose. So I'm going to click uh, the center ellipse and instead of doing it right here I'm going to do this off to the side. Okay, I'm going to turn on ortho so that my ellipse is uh, relative to the, the viewport that I've already got there and I'm going to move that viewport closer into the bicycle. We will put it right down here. Okay, one thing that you need to keep keep in mind is that if you were to make a viewport uh, directly inside the existing one, it gets a little difficult to select the smaller one. That's why I built it over here and then moved it in. One thing that you can do also is once you know the scale of the of the figure that you're going to blow up, you can bring the viewport, the big one, in a little closer. Right. This one should be on the G viewports layer because I don't want that one to print. Okay. This one, on the other hand, I do want to print, so I'm going to leave that as is. All right. Now, how do you turn in turn an object into a viewport? Um, go to layout, select object, choose the figure that you've created, and what you'll see is the entire model in that viewport. Then what you can do is zoom and use the window function to come in a little closer to the area that you want to that you want to look at at a larger scale. So I'm going to use zoom and I'm going to do two times that size. So you can be more precise with the the scale that you're using for this, but generally the the purpose of this exercise is to look at how you can make viewports of different shapes and how you can use the, those viewports to blow up various areas on in a model. Um, I'm going to draw a little line that connects the area that I've enlarged to my new viewport. Okay. And I'll also look at making some other shapes that will function as viewports. Um, basically the shape needs to be a closed form of some sort, a polyline an ellipse, a circle, it can be any one of those. All right, now I'm going to make another viewport, um, but this one will be constructed with a circle and with a series of arcs. So I'm going to use the arc tool and I'll snap to a point. And then as I get closer to my circle, I'm going to add uh, the near object snap and you need to be really careful with this one because it will snap to anything and sometimes you don't want that so okay and I'm gonna make another arc this time uh, it will go from the end point to a point up here and then to that nearest point again and that looks a little bit chunky so I think what I'm going to do is drag it so it's a little bit more slender like so okay now right now it's still a circle and two arcs what I'm going to need to do is to trim the two arcs and join these objects as a single object I'm going to use the polyline edit tool for that edit All right pick the three objects. Do I want to turn it into one? Yes. Join. You can also use the join command to connect all of them. All right, so now it's one object and what I'm going to do next is to turn that object into a viewport. So again, you go to the layout tab, select object, choose the object you want to turn into a viewport and as you can see it now is one and I'm going to center this a little bit and I'm going to zoom um, to the handlebar area of my 
Let's try it three times. Pan. All right, so we'll get the, the handlebars included in there. Double click outside. And again, you can turn any shape. It could be a hexagon, uh, a triangle, um, any, any number of different shapes. That's it.